Hey guys, what's going on? Steven here. So today I'm going to unbox and uh, we'll install and check out all the features of these. These are uh, GIM RGB case fans. Uh, they come in a three and a five pack. Also singular. Uh, the three pack is only 32 bucks. Uh, so really, really cheap for some RGB fans. So uh, let's go ahead and unbox them. Check out what it comes with and uh, check out the quality of them and how they are. So let's go ahead and uh, get it open. All right, so like I said, uh, the three pack is only 32 bucks. I will have a uh, link down below for Amazon. Um, and I just wanted to see what we have, some specs here. So on the side, we have uh, the fan size. So these are 120 millimeter fans, uh, 25 millimeters thick. Looks like it goes from zero to 1200 RPM, uh, 23.5 dBA and 33 CFM. And they have a hydro bearing. Uh, we have 12 volt plus five volt uh, power. So let's go ahead and open it up. All right, so first looks like we just have a little pamphlet thing here. Um, so it tells you the different functions for the remote. I have a remote here. It tells you the functions. If you wanna know that um, or see it more, go ahead and pause the video there. We have our three bags of screws and our fans here. So one, two, three fans. And then we have our control box. So our control box is a SATA power. And on the control box, we can control up to 10 fans. And let's see, what else do we have here? We have two LED strips. We have a reset switch, and then we have the five volt um, Aura, so you can actually plug this in and control this through your motherboard software as well. And uh, that's the um, cord there for that. So these fans, um, they actually feel quite nice. Uh, they feel pretty high quality. And um, let's see, we just have uh, one connector. Uh, so that's great. You have two wires coming off of the fan, but it does go into just one connector. And that will just plug into um, here. Like I said, a uh, control box will do up to 10 fans. And then we have our remote here. So we have fan speed up, down. We have different modes. Uh, looks like the speed of the modes, brightness of the lights. Uh, power on and off, uh, your sync for your motherboard, um, and then a DIY. And we also have some music modes down there. Uh, we'll have to see what that does. What I'm going to do is uh, I actually have Corsair QL fans um, in my computer. And um, if you guys have any Corsair fans or other fans, you do know they're quite expensive. Uh, three pack of those are upwards of $130. So, uh, you know, you could get four packs of these fans for the price of one. So uh, I'm going to plug these into uh, power supply. I'm going to be installing these in my daughter's computer. She has a uh, uh, Lee and Lee 011 Dynamic, uh, the original. I have the XL, but I'm going to install these into hers and uh, we'll check out the modes and uh, check out how the fans are. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I've got the fans just plugged in um, outside of the computer case with the uh, SATA connector. And uh, I got to say, these fans are actually a lot brighter um, and nicer than I expected. Um, these fans are quite a bit brighter, I believe, than my Corsair QL um, 120 fans are. They do look pretty bright. 
Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'll uh, turn off the lights inside the room. Um, hopefully, that way you guys can see them a little better. All right, so I've got all the lights turned off in the room. As you can see there, this is just what it uh, defaulted to. Um, you can also see here the uh, control box itself actually uh, lights up too. So uh, if you're one that likes to uh, show off stuff, um, this does have a little double-sided um, 3M tape on the back. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through the uh, modes. So I'm going to press music mode 1. And, oh, okay, so it actually, okay, so that's music. So as I'm talking, you can see the lights going and flashing there. This is number two. Okay, I see. So as you talk, hey, hello. So as they talk, they go, and then it looks like it'll continue to go um, as you stop talking. So that's pretty cool there. Let's try number three. This is number three. So it looks like it just goes through different colors. And then, of course, we have the white, red, green, blue. And now we'll go through the different modes. So there's mode number one. All right, guys, so um, I went ahead and went through the modes. Um, I went through 115 different modes, um, and it still had more. So uh, that's pretty awesome. Um, this has more modes than any other fans that I have seen, and I've messed with a bunch of different fans. Um, I've done the both the Corsair, the QL, the LL ones. Um, I've done the... Um, TB, I believe those are the Intermax ones. Um, I've messed with Thermal Take ones. A bunch of different RGB fans. And these are by far um, one of my favorites. I mean, over 100 different modes. That's pretty awesome. And once you find what mode uh, you like it on, you can just leave it on there. And uh, once you power up your computer, it'll go right back to that mode, um, which is pretty cool. And... Um, Let's go ahead. I'm going to do the different speeds. So I'm going to just go ahead and turn the fan white. Hopefully you guys can see. I'm going to do the uh, speed on the fan. So let's go ahead and go speed down. We'll see how slow we can actually get these to go. So it actually looks like you can get them to stop. Um, and then... On the lowest setting, they are pretty low. Let's go ahead and go all the way to the quickest here. And on the uh, fastest setting, uh, they are really quiet. And let's go ahead and we'll do the brightness here of the lights. So 
So that's as dim as they'll get. As you can see, they do get pretty dim. And then one other thing that I did just notice on here is for your different mode, um, there is, it looks like a speed for it. So let's see if I go ahead and do this mode. Oh yeah, so I can actually slow those down there um, as you can see. So, um, and then I can go ahead and speed it back up there. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Um, I do really like these fans. Uh, I do highly suggest these fans. If you guys are looking for some awesome RGB fans for your uh, computer, I'll have links down below. Uh, like I said, you can get a three pack, you can get a five pack, you can get a single pack. Uh, keep in mind, if you do get the single pack, you still need that control box. Uh, so go pick you guys up some of these fans. Um, the three pack starts at uh, just under 35 bucks. It's uh, $32 at the time of filming this. Um, it's the beginning of December. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. Click that subscribe button. Uh, happy holidays to all of you guys. And uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.